In this video, we'll be setting up Mirror in an empty project. Before going any further, please be sure to check the description for any new or updated information. Mirror currently supports 2018 and 2019 LTS releases. For example, at this time in the video, 2019 LTS is 2019.4, while 2018 LTS is 2018.4. Mirror will likely work on other 2018 and 2019 versions, but officially only the LTS variants are supported. Once you are on a supported version of Unity, let's hop into the Unity store and download Mirror. If you do a quick search for Mirror, you should see a result that looks like this. I already have Mirror downloaded and imported, however if you do not, go ahead and do so now. After Mirror is imported, I recommend checking out the README. You can see this important note. You must restart Unity after importing Mirror. With that said, if you have not already, go ahead and restart Unity. This ensures that your Mirror components will show up when you try to add components to objects. You can also see that it shows the requirements, the runtime net version, documentation link, Discord for support, and a link to file bug reports. Setting the runtime version is another important thing we have to do, so let's go do that now. I like to get to my player settings by going File, build settings, and then click player settings. I'm going to go into other settings, scroll down a bit, and look for where it says API compatibility level, and I'll change that to .NET 4X. And now I can go ahead and close out of my project settings. Depending on which version Unity you are using, you may have to restart Unity after changing your .NET scripting settings. Unity will prompt you to do so if that is the case. To test that Mirror is functioning properly, I'm going to spawn a cube on two instances and make sure they can both be seen over the network. However, first I need a network manager, so I'm going to create an empty object in my scene and I will call it network manager and I'm going to add component and I will add a network manager component and then add component again and I'll choose network manager HUD. The HUD will display network actions as buttons in the top left so that we can test our connection. I won't be going into a lot of detail on the network manager, but it is worth mentioning that if you have a special condition on your network that may prevent a local host connection from working, you will need to resolve that first. This is extremely rare though and will likely not affect you. Now I will create my player prefab. I'm going to right click, 3D object, and then create a cube. Make sure that in the game view, your cube is in view of the camera. On the cube, I'm going to add component, and then add a network identity. This allows the object to be networked. Any object which is networked will require a single network identity component. With the cube made, I'm going to drag it into my assets folder to make it a prefab. I'm then going to go back to the network manager and I'm going to drag that prefab into the player prefab option. Make sure you are dragging the prefab in, not the cube from the scene. Also, have auto create player ticked. This will create the player prefab whenever a client joins the server automatically. Let's go ahead and delete the cube from the scene. I went ahead and did a file, build and run, which may be an executable build. With the build up, I'm going to start as a host, where it says server plus client. After you've clicked that button, you should see a cube, as this is your player portion of the executable. I'm going to enter play mode on the editor, and this time I'm going to join as a client. I already have the server running as a host, so all I need to do is join as a client. Looking at the game view, it appears only one player has spawned, but if we go into the hierarchy, we can see that there are two cubes instantiated. This is how we know that both players are in the game and your setup is successful. Another telling sign is if I go to my host, so my player and the server, and I close it down, you'll notice that the client was disconnected as the server is no longer available. 